All right, we're gonna try the nine millimeter rifle now at 200 yards, because at 300 yards, I just I just couldn't get on the paper. I know the wind has a lot to do with it. It's really windy today. So um, let's try it at 200 yards and see if we can get the paper. At 200 yards, my hold is the halfway point between the dot and the bottom of the 65 MOA circle. At least that's what was working for me the last time. Uh, let's see how that works. All right, coming up on 200 yards. See my target came loose. It's long to the to the right. It's probably where my bullets were going when I was shooting at the uh, the 300. All right, so from 200 yards, we got hits. Uh, definitely belong to the right a little bit. So let's uh, see one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, eight out of ten um, at the uh, 200 yards with the nine millimeter. I'm gonna shoot this again this time. I'm gonna hold left more. Um, and let's see if we can get more hits on target if we hold uh, a little bit more left. I'm gonna circle these so we can tell them apart. All right, we're gonna shoot this Palmetto PX9 one more time. This time we're gonna hold a little bit to the left at the 200 yards with the nine millimeter. Now, by the way, the ammunition that we're using is Sergeant Major Munition. So this is basically from Tula Works, but this is like a zinc coated ammunition. And we were shooting it to the wind. Let's go see what we did. So one of the difficulties of shooting at this range is as the sun starts setting, you're shooting into the sun almost. So that's, uh, that's part of the challenge. That same deal again. Now this time I was holding up here in this corner. So I was definitely holding a little bit to the left. The wind still blew my bullets a little bit to the right. So. Uh, actually, this hit right there. I didn't even notice that one. Just grazed the paper right there. So uh, we got the ones without the circles now. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then right there is nine. And ten was probably someplace out here. Uh, but let's see what uh, type of a cluster we're getting. So it looks like we're getting about 13 inches. Like we're within 13 inches. This one would have been 
one here. The other one would have been just a little bit off, so it would have definitely been within the 13 inches. Because everything else is grouping within 13 inches. So uh, that's at 200 yards. So I, the way I got this is basically um, using a, uh, I think I have a 20 yard zero, which gives me like a second zero at 100 yards. Um, what I do is I put, I have the dot with the 65 MOA circle. So what happens is the dot, goes up here 65 MOA circle goes down there so I positioned this target exactly halfway between the dot and the bottom of the 65 MOA circle um, and that's how I'm able to get on target and uh, the only issue here is that the wind was just blew my bullets a little bit to the right so fun experience good good practice I, I love taking a nine millimeter and pushing it beyond what it was really designed to do